In Nigeria, new president Bola Tinubu has started his tenure with something of a snag. Complete and sudden scrapping of the decade-old subsidy on oil days after he took office has meant fuel prices jumping overnight. And it's triggered a wave of panic in the nation. Although the policy goes into effect from the 1st of July, the move has already sparked concern and chaos. Hundreds are rushing to petrol stations to buy fuel before costs rise even further. The fuel price is expected to nearly triple from the present subsidized pump price of 40 cents a litre to approximate $1.21 a litre. In a country where millions live on the brink of poverty, the oil subsidy withdrawal move has raised public concern and anger. Transport fares have already skyrocketed and the powerful labor union is preparing itself for confrontation with the new government. Our correspondent Luisa Oliani sends us this report from Lagos. About 76 hours after the new administration of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu announced that subsidy is no more on Nigerian fuel, the panic buying and queue that surfaced since Monday still lingers on. News available from the petroleum sector regulatory body put the new amount between 488 naira and 557 naira per litre, with Lagos State selling the lowest price at 488 naira. As expected, the multiplier effect has been felt on everything from goods, services, production, transportation and general economy, as some Nigerians groan in disappointment and anger. Many have argued that the prices are comparable with other developed and developing economies. But what is the earnings and purchasing power of the average Nigerian? From Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, we on World is One.